Hello and welcome to the Fast Financials demo video for finance, ledgers and journals. Starting with the Accounting Manager Role Centre, we are going to have a look at the Chart of Accounts. The Chart of Accounts is indented with begin and end totals. Choosing columns, there is an option to allow some of the accounts to be directly posted to. We are now going to create some journal entries. Going to the General Journal, we can have as many batches as we require. Here, using the default, we put in the posting date, choosing the document type, leaving this blank for traditional debits and credits. We can put the document date, for example, as the invoice date, as opposed to the date that this will be posted. The document number can be automatic or manual. Choosing the account number automatically puts in the description. However, we can overwrite this. We're going to set up this transaction as a purchase. Input the amount and it calculates the VAT for you. Now we have two options for balancing. We can balance this on the line by choosing a relevant account. Or we can balance this by posting a balancing line. In this case, we're going to balance with our cash account. Pressing the post button then updates the accounts. Going back to our chart of accounts, we can look at the account and drill down on the balance. We can see the new entry with the reference. Using the navigate function shows how the transactions hit the system. Here are the three entries to our general ledger, the goods amount, the VAT amount and the cash balance. Going back to journals, we can now look at recurring journals. If we have the same transactions happening on a regular basis, we can set up a recurring journal. The recurring method lets you change whether it is a fixed journal amount or varied for varying values. And finally balance, especially for reversing the balance at the end of the month. We then set up the details, such as recurring frequency, expiration date and posting date. We can also specify the document number and the type of document. Set up the account we are posting to and then edit the description and amount. Hitting post will increment the posting date. However, the system will not allow us to post the values before the posting date. As another example, we could put in a two weekly variable journal entry. In this case, we're going to put this in for wages. Going into the journal, we are then able to add in the values when we know what they are. We can add in as many recurring journals as we require. Finally, we can set up general journal batches, which are templates for the journal setup. We can add in an unlimited number of templates as we require, and just select which one we want to use when we need to. And that concludes our overview of the general ledger and general journals. Please contact us if you have any further questions.